Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile. Uh, today, very special video for you. I just uh, checked uh, basically the server response. If you know, uh, there is this program where you can check uh, basically uh, parse the server response from MK Mobile, and from that you can deduce pretty much all upcoming events. And that response has been just updated two days ago, and we got uh, information about future upcoming towers, upcoming challenges, uh, relic hunts, all of that. So in this video, I just wanted to go through all of it in case you're curious what's coming. And what does it mean for the next Mortal Kombat update? Because I'm going to tell you right now, we are not getting any new towers. We're not getting any new challenges for the rest of this year. What does it mean? We're going to talk about it a little bit later. But first, let's start with the towers. What's coming after a Danian tower? We got Nightmare Tower, which will start on October 4 and will add end at November 2nd. So almost the entire months. But what makes this tower special? It's going to be, first of all, I don't think we had Fatal Towers back then. So Nightmare Towers is just going to be the regular tower. However, what's different about this tower is that energy refresh limit is going to be three. If you compare it to the regular tower, for example, Edenian Tower, energy refresh limit is two, which means you can buy 50, uh, you can spend 50 souls to buy two additional uh, five attempts packages, which means you can do 15 attempts per reset. If you pay 100 souls. However, the upcoming Nightmare Tower is going to allow you to buy three additional refreshes for 20 battles per reset. Which is pretty cool considering that rewards in that tower was complete trash compared to the newer towers. So a few extra resets, I guess, are going to help a lot. So Nightmare Tower is going to last for almost entire months. And I'm pretty... I'm pretty happy about it because my Nightmare Gear fusions are ridiculously low. But if I remember correctly, the drop rates on this is terrible. There is no guaranteed drops for rares. Is there even guaranteed epic drop in the end? I don't even remember. Uh, I guess we're going to find out how this goes. But this is not it. We're having another tower. Shirai Ryu Tower that also starts at October 4. So they start at the same time. But this one ends on December 12th. December 12th, ladies and gentlemen. It's a regular Shirai Ryu Tower. And this one has the regular two uh, energy refresh limit, which means only 15 tries per day. So we can have two towers, potentially five extra refreshes. So get ready if you want to do every single battle possible. Get ready to fork out 5 multiplied by 50, 250 multiplied by 2, 500 souls a day. So no Fatal Towers. That's kind of disappointing. Why Why couldn't it be Fatal Shira Ryu, Ryu Tower since we have the regular Nightmare Tower? Who knows? But this is it. These are currently two towers that are scheduled. And... Uh, Wow, this whole this tower is gonna go for more than two two uh, months. The Shirayu Rayu Tower is gonna be here for more than two months, and it's not even fatal one. I don't know how I feel about this. Not not great. It's all right, but not great. But Shirayu Rayu Tower has some of the best gear in the game, so I'm 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 looking forward to maxing out a couple of pieces. Hopefully, not epic pieces because we're probably not gonna be dropping much epics at all. But anyway. So these are the towers. There is still a chance that we're going to have uh, more towers added. For example, uh, when the uh, Nightmare Tower ends on November 2nd, I'm sure they're going to introduce some other repeat tower to for another month to match with the expiration date for the Shirai Ryu Tower. That, that just makes sense. But we're going to have to wait until later, until they update this to see what tower is coming next. Let's talk Relic Hunt. You might be wondering, when is the next Relic Hunt? Well, that's pretty easy to find out. You can go right here. The next Relic Hunt is scheduled for October 6th. So in case you haven't maxed out your Shao Kahn yet, it's going to be your chance. 
I'm definitely on that list. Maybe I'll finally, well, I'm not gonna max him out, but maybe I'll get another fusion on my Shao, which would be pretty cool. And now let's talk challenges. They just added a billion challenges all the way up to November 7th. So I can tell you the next five or six challenges right now in case you're curious. Okay, so this is the current challenge. Uh, we have Treacherous Tanya. After the Treacherous Tanya, we're gonna have Unstoppable Jason Voorhees, which makes sense. Halloween and stuff. Though... Wait, what? Oh! Oh! Unstoppable Jason Voorhees challenge is gonna run from October 4th to November 1st? What on earth does that mean? So this challenge will run at the same time as the next Scorpion challenge, which is gonna be... Which Scorpion is this? Hanzo. Hanzo Hasashi challenge uh, starting uh, on October 3rd together. Almost together. This one is gonna be day later with Unstoppable Jason, which... What on earth is the point of running the challenge for the whole month? I don't understand. But okay, we're getting two challenges, I guess. Maybe it will reset. I don't think it will reset. I think it's just gonna be... Just one long challenge. <laughs> what the hell, dude? That is crazy. Okay. So after Scorpion, uh, we're gonna have... The next one is gonna be a Melina. Which one Melina is this? Let's find out. It's gonna be Piercing Melina. Okay. Uh, for one week after that one, we're gonna have a challenge Sonya Blade. I'm assuming it's gonna be a classic Sonya Blade, which is actually very exciting for me because I love her. But she, she's already mixed out, so never mind. It's not, it's not really exciting. After this, uh, we are going to have a Jackie Briggs. Didn't we just have Jackie Briggs at, uh, October 24. Oh, maybe this is the cosplay one. Let me check because we just had the high tech recently, I think. Yes, cosplay Jackie Briggs. Okay. Okay. That is going to round up the October. And then the first challenge of November is going to be Kun Lao, Flaming Fist Boy. No, not Flaming Fist. Uh, Shaolin Fist. Shaolin Fist Kun Lao. And after that. This is it for now. These are the only challenges that have been scheduled. Okay, now let's talk what all of this means. That means that they just updated their list of scheduled challenges and towers, which potentially means we might not be getting an update until mid-December at the very least. Or... We could get an update, but the update is not going to bring any new challenges or any new towers, which is weird because usually they would add another potentially pay to win gold card into the challenge list. So two options, no update until mid-December or potentially even longer. Second option, there is going to be an update maybe in a week or two with new MK1 Scorpion, but that is going to be it. The, the whole update is going to be just adding MK1 Scorpion and maybe potentially some other MK1 character, who knows? And those are going to be just in packs. And there is, there is also a chance that some of the new towers that are coming, some of the tower repeats that are coming, are going to have updated rewards, potentially have a chance to drop MK, MK1 Scorpion. Like, I, if I were to guess Shirai Ryu tower repeat, that is coming in a week might have mk1 scorpion as a reward so but that means that we are getting an update and before october 1st maybe uh, i mean october 4th maybe on october 4th just so we can start with the tower and uh get a chance to get the new scorpion right away which in my opinion would be the best case scenario um if I were to guess, my prediction uh, for this is going to be exactly this. October 4th, we're getting an update. We're getting MK1 Scorpion, potentially maybe even MK1 Sub-Zero. 
I could see them coming together, and they're going to be uh, rewards for the Shirai Ryu Tower Battle 200, which is going to be absolutely sick. That is my prediction. Uh, then, when it comes to towers, I'm, I'm glad they're repeating the towers. I don't need any more tower gear. We have lots of towers to s cycle through. Uh, we can just let people chance to upgrade some of their other tower pieces, except for people who actually paid insane money to max out all the tower gear, then you guys, unfortunately, probably not going to be excited about all these tower repeats. But I think for the most player base, it's a good change. Uh, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Are we getting an update? Uh, are we getting uh, just repeats until December? I, I, don't see, I don't see them not doing an update uh, for Shirai Ryu Tower. It's just too convenient. Plus, it's, it's going to be so many months if they don't do update until December. It just makes zero sense. So, let's see if we are getting MK1 Scorpion in a couple of days. Let me know in the comments what do you think. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.